There's one. They ain't done yet. That feels like a better one too. Oh, it's a double, it's a double, it's a double. Yes, I know, oh, look at that. Oh, two fish, one crankbait. What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman, guys. And today, I got a special guest with me, my girlfriend, Suzanne. Hey. And she's gonna be trying to whoop my butt in some bass fishing today. We're just gonna go out and have some fun, try to catch some fish and just see if we can catch any in general. Like I said in the last two videos, guys, it's just been a struggle the last month or so to catch some fish, all kinds of stuff going on. But we've already got started a little bit before I turn the camera on, we've caught three and we caught them all cranking. So it's looking like that could be a pretty good bite for us today. There was a wind break and those fish were kind of stacked right up on that wind break, which was pretty cool to see and it was some really quick action right out the gate. But today, we're hoping to catch ourselves a nice one. Oh, watch out Suzanne back there. She almost, <laughs> she almost went right there in the trees. But Suzanne uh, has not fished a whole lot, but I think she is a natural. The first time I ever took her fishing, she actually whooped my butt. She caught like three or four bass that were probably close to five pounds. I gave her a little like plopper style bait and she was just going to town with that thing. And the fish seemed to love it and I was just like stuck throwing a chatterbait or a crankbait or something like that. I didn't want to switch. I should have uh, switched over to what she was using. Just didn't learn my lesson. She just had to rub it in my face at the end of the day. But she is going to try to do the same thing for me today. Uh, I'm going to try not to let that happen. But we're just going to have to get out here and see what happens. But I got a few things tied on on the boat. We got a worm, we got a crank. I mean, I'll go into it in just a second when I show y'all what I got going on on the GoPro. But I wanted to go ahead and quickly talk about the merch because I know I had mentioned that in like a few videos ago. It's still coming, guys. Should be coming very soon. I just had to get some more samples and stuff to make sure everything was right. The first little batch of sample merch I got wasn't quite up to what I wanted my standards to be. So I want to make sure it's perfect before I release it so none of y'all are unhappy with it when you do get it eventually. But I think it is time to go ahead and jump into the bait today. So let's get to it. So here's the lineup today, guys. I have a chatterbait tied on on the first rod, just a really great all around bait, great search bait. Should be able to do the trick with that thing in a lot of situations. And then I also have a new rod, if y'all haven't noticed that already, but this thing is a beast. This is a Revo EXD on the Abu Garcia winch right here. And this rod specifically is made for shallow cranks and that's what I have tied on right here. And this is a shallow diving flat sided crankbait. And this one is also silent, really great for subtle action when the fish are kind of finicky like they've been recently so I think that should be a great bait for us today I've already actually caught two fish on it so I know they're already biting it so I'm excited to throw that a lot and then our top water option we have a little plopper style bait got the chapo and if they're gonna come up and eat that that would be awesome but I doubt it but you know I always tie it on just in case and then we also have our worm option today just a little texas rig and that is going to do the trick for any kind of pitching and flipping that we might do but like i said guys this is the bait that i want to throw mostly today i've already caught two fish on it so i know they're eating it and suzanne caught one on a lipless so i think cranking is going to be the move today so i think i'm going to go ahead and get going with this thing You got one? Nice. <gasps> Did it come off? Oh, no, he's still on there. It's a baby. Baby. <laughs> there you go. I, like, I can't tell if he's still on or not. Good. You think you can handle that one by yeah. yourself? I don't know. They're the squirmy ones. You need help? <laughs> here, I'll get them for you. Come on up here, bud. Got the pliers. I think that one weighs. Huh? Probably like a, a whopping <laughs> six to eight ounces. The monster right here. Oh no, definitely not TV. There he is. You gotta give him a kiss. I don't know about that. Yeah, give him a little smooch right there on the on the mouth. On the mouth? Yeah, give him a little Can smooch. Can I give it on the side? Yeah, that works. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can right. put him right back on in there. You can just give him a toss. Graceful. Perfect. <laughs> Well, since the video started, Suzanne's in the lead officially, but we're two for two on the day. So we're tied. So the next fish is gonna take the lead. Better start cranking. I cannot let her beat me today. That would not, that would not look too good. <laughs> I think it might happen though. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Eh. 
There's one. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Come on to the boat, my friend. That is a solid one. Come right on in here. Whack the chatterbait. Came right off some sticks on the bottom of the water. No, bottom of the water. Bottom of the, the lake right here. <laughs> Just uh, right out there. That is a solid one. Probably about, I'll say, um, low twos, two and a quarter, two and a half. I'll take that all day. Let's go ahead and release this sucker. He's got some kind of funky stuff in his mouth. I don't know how well y'all can see that. It almost looks like, like a parasite or something. But I'll go ahead and let him go. Not really sure what that was. Oh, God, I just got smacked. Dang. Oh, no, just kidding. It was a stick. No, they're around, that's what I'm saying. There, there's a ton of bait over here. Oh, there's a bite. There's one. Yeah, oh gosh, he came off. He clobbered it, man. Hammered the absolute piss out of it. I just, my rod tip went doink, and I tried to catch up to him and just did not have enough tight line there. There was just a bunch of slack because he was running right at me. And I just wasn't able to get a hook, uh, wasn't able to get a good hook set on him. There we go, speak English. At least I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> they are full. There's one. There's one. Good gracious. That guy smacked it right there. We've been switching over to some pitching and flipping up in the trees. So we talked to a guy that was on a boat out here and he said he's had some luck. He caught a five doing a little pitching and flipping and a three and a four. So I figured we'd give it a shot and that is our first one on our little crawl right there. And he smacked it and oh yeah, by the way, guys, I switched from that, uh, what's it called, that worm over to a little crawl and that is what this guy smacked it right there. And I'll show you all that in just a second. Let me put this guy back first though. So. Let him go. Off in a flash. So here's what I was using, guys. The Critter Hog. This is the Powerbait Max Sense version of it. And I have two colors in here. One's the Sapphire Blue and the other one is the Green Pumpkin. I just put them all in one bag just for more conveniency. So I didn't have like five million bags of soft plastics in the back of my boat. So I just have two colors in there. But that is what I'm using. And I have it on the same rig as I had the worm. Just a little quarter ounce Texas rig. So let me go ahead and get back to work with this guy. See if there's any more fish up in these trees. There's one. That's that's a fish. That's a fish. My hand slipped like crazy on that. <laughs> Come here. That fish smacked the piss out of that thing. Get on in here. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> that is one of the better ones today. And I got him hooked weirdly in the bottom lip right there. I don't see that a whole lot. Definitely happens every now and then, but that's a weird place to hook them. But that is a solid one, probably probably in that two pound range. That one caught me really off guard. I was kind of looking over here and there was just all these comrades up on this branch and I was kind of zoned out because that bay was like out of the area that I thought I was going to get hit. And sure enough, I should have paid attention a little bit longer. At least I was paying enough attention to get that one hooked somewhat. I'll take it. Appreciate the bite, bud. You got one? Or are you stuck? I think you're stuck. <laughs> Dang, that's a nice tree pounder you got there, Suze. Reel her in, reel her in, get her in there. Come on. Did you catch a Lognus monster? I did. Let me go get you out of there. This looks like wasted. That's bird shit. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that is gross. <laughs> 
is that? It looks like snow. Like... <laughs> that, those are the forbidden tree limbs, Sus. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. It's the forbidden snow. Watch, watch, watch out for it. That's disgusting. I was like, I noticed that earlier. I was like, wow, that actually looks really pretty. <laughs> no. <laughs> those are fish. Baby gators. <laughs> baby gators splashing. Huh? I said, you think they're baby gators? <laughs> there we go. Got one. Oh, smacked it back there. It's not a, a monster, but it's a fish. I'll take it. These little fish have just been popping all over the place today. We tried throwing top water for them a little bit. Tried cranking for them. And they haven't seemed super interested in biting anything except this one spot right here where we caught some earlier off camera. But I came back here at the end of the day and decided to try it again. And sure enough, I got myself another one right here. I'm gonna get back in there quickly because I think I can probably get another. But that guy was barely hooked. I mean, that, fit, that hook came right out of there. Let me get him right back in there. Thanks, bud. <laughs> There's one. Smacked it, same spot. Hammered the piss out of it. Goodness gracious, man. Finally getting some bites over here. It's been slow all day. I haven't really been able to get any kind of pattern going. They've been on, they've been off, they've been on, and we've been catching them in little spurts and on different things in different areas. So I don't really know what to tell y'all about the fish today. They just seem to be all over the place. Um, Suze, do you have those pliers? There we go. Let me get that out of there for you, bud but they seem to be like in a crank right now. So that's all that I care about. <laughs> this is a fat son of a gun right there. I mean, he is not a very long fish, but he is just chunky. Definitely a little football. Let me give him a toss right back on in there. Thanks for the munch, bud. Let me fire this sucker back out there and see if we can't get another one. They might come up and hit that. They're boiling. Oh, another one. Gosh, they're back there. They are back there. Back to back. Cass, let's go. Yeah, man. Hopefully there's some bigger ones amongst these guys. But another chunky little football. It's a bait gobbler is what this guy is. That's all they freaking do. They just inhaled that, the little shad in here. Like machines. Oh gosh, he's flopping all over the place on me, but this one's missing a little bit of his dorsal fin right there. I'm not really sure what he's got going on. But anyways, thanks for the munch there, bud. Shoo. All right, can we go uh, three for three here? Three casts, three fish. Yes, we can. Oh, yeah, man. Three casts, three fish. That is a way to end a long, slow day. Oh, no, it came off. <laughs> Quick release, I'm counting it. Can we go four for four? You can if you want to. I mean, they're biting the crank. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh god, you gotta love it, man. You got to love it. Four casts, four fish, and let's see if we can get this one in the boat, actually. <laughs> yeah, buddy. They aren't giants, but man, are they fun. I'll take this kind of action all day. Where was this for the last three hours? Sheesh. Got him out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a toss back in there. We can't possibly go five for five. That just doesn't even seem possible. <laughs> Come on, make it happen, make it happen. Oh, dang, four for four, the fifth cast. 
did not produce, but we're gonna keep slinging. I'm sure I can get at least one more if they're buying like that. You can keep throwing the ball. They might, they'll come up and hit that possible. Oh gosh, man. Oh my God. This one's a smaller one. Oh, he, he released, he sent this bait flying back at me. Try to pull. Me in the face. I know, he tried to pull a Larry. <laughs> I was supposed to announce the giveaway winner last video, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna pop the winner up on the screen now. Oh god. You okay? Yeah, that's in my face, bro. Let me see. Well, you better film that. Larry, come on now. I'm sorry, Fletch. I gotta put it on video. Oh my god. That's not good, bro. I'm gonna name that fish Larry. He's trying to get a hook in my face. Let's get back out there. There he is. Oh my gosh, this is just dumb. There are so many back here. There are so many back here. Suze took her crankbait off and she's trying to throw a little plopper back there, but they don't want to bite it. All they want is this crank and they're just munching on that pause and stop. Come on into the boat, my dude. How many of you just caught? <laughs> Probably like seven. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is out of this one spot with the crank, but it's a lot. That's all I know. Let's put him right back in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to get back out there. There's got to be at least one decently sized one amongst all these fish. Like if I could just get a three out of this, I'd be stoked. Oh, there's another. There's another. Just come onto the boat. I'm hoping maybe I'll get a double if they're eating like this. That would be pretty cool. I haven't had a double in a while. That's like two fish on one crankbait. Doesn't happen a whole lot, but this is the kind of scenario that it does happen when the fish are just hyper aggressive. These fish are fired up. <laughs> So you're missing out on all the action over here. You told me to take the crankbait off earlier. I know. Oh, there's another one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, this is like clockwork. Did he come off? Oh, I think he might have came off. He did. Shoot. <laughs> the second you get that thing tied on, they're going to stop biting and watch it. I know. Oh. <laughs> they haven't stopped yet. They haven't stopped yet. <laughs> Get on in here, Junior. Goodness gracious. Flapping all over the place. These fish are fired up, hammering the piss out of this thing. Every time I throw it in there, I think I've hooked a fish 90% of my cast in this spot. <laughs> in the last 10 minutes. Oh, goodness gracious. This is just not even fair. This is just, I don't even know what to say about this. Oh, that is fall fishing for you guys. When they get fired up and the conditions are just right, they just munch like crazy. That's what I've been preaching this whole fall in all my videos and I've just been waiting for that opportunity to get on a feed like this. And right now it is happening and they're just going crazy. Yeah. Here, just reel that. You'll probably catch one. I'll check the knot for you. <laughs> he, he tied it to the wrong thing. He got it tied to the split ring, not the thing the split ring's in. <laughs> Here. Try try again. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> you want to reel one in just to see what it feels like? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm cheating. I know this is, I got like hacks on right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got one? There you go. Hopefully, you get the big one. Well, you got one. That's okay. Doesn't have to be a monster. Thanks there, Junior. You need help? <laughs> oh, or you think you got him? Or... I'm 
you do different first? Just pull hard. There you go. There you go. All right. Nice, Suze. You got yourself a little, a little bass. A little, oh. a little one. How do you release it here? Yeah, just pull that trigger. Try not to drop it. Yeah, don't drop the grippers in. <laughs> we know how that went last time. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and land back at the <laughs> And there he goes with the grippers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here you go. Thank you. They just splashed right there. See if you can get in there and get it yourself another one. There's one. They ain't done yet. That feels like a better one too. Oh, it's a double! It's a double! It's a double! Yes! I know! Look at that! Look at that! Oh! Whoa. That is awesome! I told y'all that might happen! Oh my gosh! I haven't had that happen in a minute! Let's go! Two fish, one crankbait. But check that out. Two fish. One crankbait, man. That is, <laughs> I don't even have words to describe how awesome that experience is. I've had it happen a handful of times in my fishing career. I remember the first time it happened to me, I was fishing with my granddad on like a little charter thing. And we were just like running crankbaits over these spots at Lake Norman, uh, right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. And I got a double doing that. And this is my newest double to add to the collection. Man, let me go ahead and put these little suckers right back on in there two little twins and i don't know i think we're gonna call it on that one guys hopefully y'all enjoyed it this was a weird day i mean it started out super slow and the fish were just doing all kinds of weird stuff we couldn't get any kind of consistent pattern i told y'all at the beginning that we caught some fish off camera on some cranks and that was in this exact spot and then just to come back here at the end of the day and get on that insane fall bite and get a double like that that just made my day right there. But hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, Bassin is a passion. Peace out.